Welcome to Liberty Explained, your guide to libertarianism. Our goal is to share libertarian solutions for the future with you. Visit libertyexplained.com to subscribe to the podcast and to search our library of issues and book recommendations. My co-hosts are Julia Geyer and Levy Rainey. Thank you so much for being here today. Happy to be here. having us. So this one, uh, normally we have a little group discussion here, uh, but uh, Julia and Levy have not worked on campaigns, and this question was about how to become politically active. So you know my background. I've worked on many, many campaigns and worked with county parties. I worked for Republicans. I worked for li the Libertarian Party as a full-time member of the, uh, I was the executive director of the Libertarian Party of Indiana. And so... As I was training people to to get politically active in campaigns, um, this person asked, "What's the road to begin to to get politically active?" My answer is just start. So most people have two problems that I noticed: they don't feel they know enough about libertarianism to represent it effectively, and two, they don't know that they have a they don't have a master's class in political science work. And you don't need that. You know, on-the-job training is really the most effective way to learn. There's this great book uh, called Plunkett of Tammany Hall, and he he basically in chapter two or three is like, if we get a poli-sci grad from the local, uh, we, we unlearn everything he learned in college because that doesn't apply to politics. And a poli-sci degree usually still applies unless you're doing like high-level political analysis and polling. So really, just find a candidate that shares your values and campaign for them. Get involved. So... Things like basic volunteering, like envelope stuck to stuffing, door knocking, yard sign distribution, phone banking, you know, your campaign that the, the person that you want to work for should have a lot for you to do, hopefully. Um, but I would also say don't take on too much. Sometimes a small campaign will ask a newer, eager person to be the campaign manager. And, you know, that leads to volunteer frustration because they get burnt out quickly. They don't know. They don't have the experience to do it. They're just excited. And all of a sudden they're a campaign manager for a, a congressional race. And, you know, w working on a campaign can sometimes be uncomfortable, like taking some of that stuff on or time consuming. It shouldn't be frustrating too much. And you should have fun while you're doing it. We have a podcast called Upward Libertarian Activism with a ton of advice and we've recommended several books on campaign management in the book recommendations at libertyexplained.com. You know, my advice in this campaign season is just get started. Just find somebody and ask what you can do to help. And make sure you just text message your friends and go, hey, have you heard about this person? And that's really all you do. And then it'll just suck you in. And then 20 years later, you'll be where I'm at. So <laughs> have either of you. question. Yes, Levy. Um. So I feel like I am the person you're speaking to because I am interested in politics, but I'm not politically active beyond voting. Why is it important for me to become politically activated, uh, active? But how, like, how can you motivate someone like me? Because I'm not motivated at all to like go knock on a door or stuff an envelope. Like, why is that important? I can't. I mean, the, the, like, if I'm running a campaign, I can't really. Like, maybe I can find ways, but like. People that want to work on campaigns have a special, they're more extroverted, they're more, you know, they're more interested in certain things. And the problem for the next generations is that people don't want to join parties and they don't really want to do political work. And so, you know, what everyone's reconciling in the political industry is that the old means of, of campaigning, like envelope stuffing, door knocking, yard signs, that's kind of going by the wayside because it doesn't really do as much as some of the digital advertising. And so they're just hiring out to major ad campaigns. So, you know, which really puts libertarian party candidates at a, at a disadvantage. But um, you can't ask somebody like yourself who has an interest in the ideology to go volunteer for a campaign if you have no interest in volunteering for a campaign. Because I can get you to say yes. But you'll probably not show up to the event and you'll probably not show up to do the door knocking. You'll probably you'll come once I've trained you and then all of a sudden you're gone. Like it's really you 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 are interested in the process of getting involved or you're not. And if you're not, don't feel guilty about it. Yeah. Okay. You know, a few weeks ago, um, or maybe it was a few months ago. I don't know. Time is kind of melting together. Um, I was uh I was um, gathering signatures for the ballot access petition for Joe Jorgensen. And that was like the first thing that I've ever done in terms of like anything like that. Um, 
because I like heard about it and I was like, oh, like that's something that I, it was like something really small. I didn't have to like go to an event and it, it kind of fit my lifestyle where I'm like, I'm always socializing. I'm running around. I'm always talking to people, going to dinners, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I can carry a piece of paper around. I can plug it on my Instagram and I can like get signatures. So I did that. And that was like in my comfort zone. And it was like small enough that I felt like I was like, okay, like I felt like I helped a little bit and it also like fit my lifestyle and I did not take on more than I could chew. So I felt that was good. And now I'm getting involved a little bit in my state's party. So actually I thought that was, that helped me to like, it was like a baby step. And then I was like, oh, yeah. yeah, like I was like, I can, I can like slowly get into this. So maybe, you know, take it tiny steps and then it always goes somewhere. I think, you know, all right. So our advice is just get started, you know, yeah. Do it or don't, but you don't need a master's. You can just do it. It's all good. So, all right. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Liberty Explained. Julia Levy, thank you so much. Thank you. And please be sure to visit libertyexplained.com. We will see you again next episode.